Japan, that's what they call me. What it do, what it do, man. Be right through the hallway. Make sure you go like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Live from 85, back at it again, man. The realest one on the net, boss talk of business. Subscribe to the channel. <clears throat> like these videos, share these videos, don't skip no ads. All right, y'all, let's get to the topic at hand. I'm gonna be talking about Adrian Broner. Now, y'all seen what's been going on with Adrian Broner, right? If you haven't seen, let me catch you up to speed. Adrian Broner was in court here recently. But better yet, I'll just show you. I don't know what, what, what you guys want to do. I'm answering the questions. I'm answering the questions. When I, when I ask the question, that's all I did have on me. I don't have them. I got, I got rich friends. I do. I got rich friends. I got wealthy friends that take care of me. Where's all the money coming from that you're flashing around on Instagram? Whose money is that? So you're on it. I asked him. It's, 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 it's getting sent to me. I don't know. Like who? Who's sending you money? My friends. They're sending you? Why would they send you money? Because I asked. I need to play. Listen. Because, listen. I, I, I got a big heart. I got a big heart. I should. I got a big heart. And when I when I did have money and everybody asked me for money, I gave it to them. And now that they see me, that I need help. If I, if I ask, I so tell us who's sending you money. My friends. I, I can ask Devontae Davis, Al Heyman. I can ask okay. Stephen Espinosa. I ask anybody. How are they sending you the money? These are the kinds of things Mr. China is going to need to know. They send it to they send it to, to the bank and it's coming to, to my account. And I'm Being directly it. deposited into your account. Yes. But yet none of that information was provided, Mr. China, was it? I don't, I don't know how to do this, but I can show I you. I thought you didn't have any financial statements. Who said what? I, That's I, what it says in here. I don't I have, have no money. It. I get sent money and I spend it. I got to spend it on bills. Oh, I see. Okay. I got to spend it on bills. Well, as I said, I don't you're not responding. I think you're just, you're not helping yourself right now. With this but, but, but what I'm saying is this. I don't, I, how, how do I, how do I do all of this? I don't know how to do Your this. Your lawyer will help and you it, do it. And how? Your lawyer will help you do it. I don't know how to do. I don't know how to do it. That's why you have a lawyer. You're going to have to have, cooperate with them. And okay. What I'm saying is this. What I'm saying is this. Your Honor, this, this is what I'm saying. If I'm if I'm incarcerated, how can I do all of this? I have to go Did to the. Visit you? No, but I. You can sign but authorization. Can't, I'm sorry. One at a time. Sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. I'll you can sign down. authorization. You can sign authorization forms. I'm not taking questions from the back. No, no. What I'm saying. What I'm saying. I, w I want to get them the information, but I don't know what to give them. I don't know what to. It was a lot of questions I didn't understand. I answered them to the best of my ability. They got, they got, they got the email I sent. I, I answered all of these. I, I did, I did, and I can show you an email on my phone now. I, I answered these questions and I and I told them I don't have a counsel. I answered them to the best of my ability. I, I, I did. Mr. Runner, I'm not changing my mind. I understand you and I'm listening to you, but I'm not changing my mind. Oh, uh, all right. So you're gonna have to work this out with your lawyer. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. Right. As soon as you get them answered, I'll release you from county jail. So and not a minute until. Okay. So how how can you so, have so to work gotta, it out with your lawyer? I okay. Can't uh, you. No, what I'm asking is No, no. I I, I, I just want to please. I gotta because I, I don't understand what I'm going to jail for right now, and I answer the question. You're too. going to jail for civil indirect contempt. Okay. So. I gotta, I gotta say a different answer to the questions. I'm not going to give you legal advice. You have to talk to your lawyer. We'll, we'll talk. She wants more details. These are not yeah, things that I can advise you on. You have to talk to your lawyer. I can tell you things you can object to, what you can do, what your rights are, but you have not fully complied with my order. You're going to fully comply with my order, or you're going to sit in jail till you do. Okay, Ms. Nancy. Now I got a fight coming up January 16th. Well, I hope it doesn't take you that long to answer these questions. No, no, no. What I'm saying is this. After the fight, I can just pay them. That's irrelevant to me. You know what? I'm not interested. I'm not here to listen to people say I'm going to give you the money here and there and but disregard every court order in the interim. This is a problem, Mr. Broder, because you have ignored basically every order I have given you. But and now there is a punishment I've given you, extensions I've given you time. I trust you're going to get this done well before your January fight. Sorry. So you got Adrian Brown in court telling the judge that he only got $13 in his bank account, right? <laughs> man, that dude is a trip, man. Hey, <laughs> he 
You see how he was talking. But but listen, but uh, th this judge, all I'm saying, hey, we know what it is. We know what it is. But this is why I made the video, man. Now check this out. He just made another video. And I did, man, it speaks for itself, man. Check this out. He look, man. I told y'all I just got a good heart. <laughs> my friends know I ain't got it, so <laughs> one of my rich friends just came back through. Came back through for me. Hey. Hey man. <laughs> they they know, man. I only had thirteen dollars before today. <laughs> I got a little money now, man. <laughs> we finna go do something. <laughs> Hey, he say he got more homeboy that just sent him some more money, so he hey he finna go do something. <laughs> hey, this is real talk. Ain't Rabona deserved his own show. That man should have been had his own show. He need to be doing something with a camera in front of his face. But <clears throat> let's get let's get for real for a minute though. Let's be serious. Now this is coming from a fan. This is coming from a person that admires boxing, that admires your work. That's proud of everything that you've done as a black man. Now check this out. Let's be real. Here lately, the past two, three years, all we've been seeing of Adrian Brown is him going to jail. It's always an issue. It's always some kind of some kind of negative publicity, and then he goes to jail, right? But I remember at a time when I was watching Adrian Brown and he was that guy. And I know the public, they love the fact that he's doing all these antics and all this crazy stuff, you know, to, to keep the TV and everybody at home entertained, right? And that's cool. That's the name of the game. You got to be like that in boxing. No, nobody want to come see no boring fight. They want to be entertained. They don't want to see a quick knockout. They want to get their money's worth. But this is the thing that I miss about Adrian Broner. When he was putting in that work, when he was getting those belts, when he was letting those hands do the talking. Right now, Adrian Broner a little out of shape. I ain't heard him really say nothing about boxing. He trying to rap, which is cool. I heard some songs, they're not bad. But I want Adrian Broner to get back in that ring, man. That's where most of your fans first met you at. That's where I first met you at. That's why I first was like, man, it's a dude out here that's, that's beating up everybody, man, that's, that's coming to the game, that they call him the new Floyd Mayweather and all this. All the hype. And you, and you were living up to it. But then the partying and all that, you know, it just, I guess the lifestyle got you. But I remember in Rocky, what did uh, Doc, I mean, not Doc, Mick, what did Mick tell Rock? The worst thing that can happen to a fighter. Is that you get civilized. <clears throat> and. Adrian Brown. He just got civilized man. And. I hope you break out of that bro. I really do. And I hope you get back to boxing. If not. I hope you do something that benefits you. To where you on TV. Or. Got your own show. Because. That judge ain't playing. Say what you want. But that judge ain't playing. And she didn't sound like she was playing. Locked you up at the end. So don't go testing your look, man. Don't go testing your look. Do what God put you here to do, man. Use your God-given ability that most folks would die to have. And, and just use it, man. Use it. Period. Use it. I can't wait to see you back in the rain, man. Be right through the hallway. Y'all make sure y'all go like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. I'm going to hit y'all another video real soon, man. Till then, me and hold up for you. Do each part now what you want to do. I'm out.